In this video, I'm going to introduce the, the blue chick and describe some of the features that are in the version 4.2. Main axes are the X, Y, and Z. This is the short axis, the long axis, and you have the Z axis, which is the, the one on the lead screw and it goes up and down. The biggest change in the blue chick from the previous version is the use of roller chain. The roller chain provides slightly better resolution due to the smaller drive sprocket and is able to align better using idler sprockets. Additionally, roller chain can be tensioned so that there will be most of the backlash will be um, reduced and this is also evident in temperature change where the, the structure will either expand or contract due to temperature and will maintain a good um, reduction of backlash as opposed to lead screw which um, is greatly affected by temperature change in the structure of the CNC. The two axes that use the roller chain is the X axis and the Y axis. The Y axis has the roller chain configuration very similar to the black toe and the black foot CNC machines. Another very significant change that was made is moving the x-axis motor or the stepping motor inside the gantry bridge or the gantry location. And this allows you to free up the entire underside of the machine so that structure can be used underneath and not the motor. And the motor in the previous version was inhibiting structure. And now the table can be made as long as, as the user wishes because a great amount of structure can, can now be added underneath. The most significant change that was made to this machine is putting the z-axis motor on the bottom, reversing its orientation from where it used to be on the very top of the z-axis. There, there was a couple bearing supports on the top and then the motor would be right around here. Now the motor is, is located underneath and that reduces the profile uh, much lower in terms of the, the overall envelope of the machine. Because when you have something higher and you have these axes moving in all directions, this essentially becomes the, the envelope of the machine. And by putting it down here, you're reducing the envelope quite a bit. And this can actually be reduced more by, by taking the anti-backlash nut and reversing it and putting it on the bottom. And that would shorten the lead screw by about uh, a couple inches. Um, but the problem with that is you're not going to get as much um, height on the z-axis unless you reduce the, the height of these two parts lower. And that was not done because um, I wanted to, to keep a, a good amount of um, space here for the, for the router so the router can be as stable as possible. The overall design um, of the routing area is maintained at 12 inches a little, a uh, tiny bit more than 12 inches and 36 inches in the in the X direction or 24 inches in the, in the X direction. Um, it is possible to lengthen the, the table but that would be have to be done by the, the customer to increase the table length. All they would need to do is provide the structure that's necessary underneath. This concludes the general overview of the Blue Chick version 4.2. Thank you for watching.